Bumahmung, or Man and Woman, by Egon Schiele in 1907, is probably one of the most central works by the artists of that period. It is tender, yet passionate. It represents a couple in, in this very intimate atmosphere, almost intertwined with each other. There's a very intimate aura in this painting. The man is hugging, almost shielding this woman whom you hardly see and can only guess. The way Sheila depicts the skin of the body contrasts it even more with this very, very plain background. There is something very mysterious about it. He's not really kissing her. His lips are close to her ear. He's about to whisper something. One doesn't really know what's going on. What makes this gouache even more interesting and rather powerful is that the man depicted on the painting turns out to be Egon Schiele himself. It is an autoportrait. The woman is not his wife Edith, but a model that he had chosen at that time. It's been five years since Schiele had last painted himself naked. He was indeed totally traumatized when in 1911 he was condemned for immoral charges and put to jail, therefore refusing to paint himself naked moving forward until this very, very painting where he is halfway there. We don't even recognize him. This painting was realized at the pinnacle of Schiele's too short career. Indeed, Schiele dies only a year later at the age of 27. What's very interesting stylistically about this gouache on paper is the fact that Schiele separates him totally from his mentor, Gustav Klimt, removing any decorative or superficial element from the work. The background is totally empty and reinforcing the strength and the power of this actual couple. This work was among seven studies and the most elaborate from all of them for a final work, an oil on canvas, The Embrace. Much more elaborate with a much more achieved background, but somehow it probably is this gouache which is the strongest of them all because of its simplicity and its purity.